Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, we're going to learn the basic introduction on how to create a background map using the flashboard and quick plot. First of all, we're going to select a coastal study area that was affected by a natural disaster. In this case, we already found a location in Zhejiang, China that was reported to have been hit by Typhoon Lekima in August 2019. Okay, based on the news reported by BBC 11 August 2019, we can see here in the map that the predicted path of Typhoon Lekima at that coastal area. And based on this information, we get to know exactly where we can focus for this tutorial. We can proceed by opening the dashboard software to obtain a map and coordinate of the study area. Then, we can start by changing the bathymetry version to the latest one, which is GAPCO 2023. After that, we need to change the coordinate system at the top of the screen to make it easier for us to locate the selected area. And because China region is situated within UTM 51, we click on column number 51 and it will bring us to the selected area. To extract grid outline from the dashboard software, we need to draw a grid outline surrounding the selected area, which is Zhejiang city itself. Uh, in this part, we need to make sure the yellow dot is located on the offshore side of the rectangle. After that, we need to click on Make Rectangular Grid to extract the grid. Now, we get the grid outline for the selected area, and we can move to the next part. In this part, we're going to use the flashbox software to get coordinate data from the grid that we have extracted earlier. First, we can start by converting the coordinate system of the grid from Cartesian into spherical. We need to insert grid file from dev dashboard. And open the one that you have extracted earlier. We need to click on coordinate system. And then choose from Cartesian into spherical coordinate. In this part, we just write number one for UTM format. and then write UTM number of the selected area, and in this case is 51. And lastly, number one for yes. We can look at the cursor, where the format is still in Cartesian coordinate, and after we click OK, the format already changed to spherical coordinate. Don't forget to save the converted file into a new file. Next. We go back to DraftTrader again and open WaveKick plot to get the coordinates. We need to insert the converted grid file. And click on quick view to show the grid with its coordinate. 
with this coordinate, we can obtain real satellite background image from Google Earth Pro. Now, we need to search for the area of our study to narrow down the map. After that, we just need to insert all coordinates and pinpoint into a rectangular boundary. As we can see on the screen, I already pinpoint all four coordinates according to what is shown in the quick plot. To get this background image from Google Earth Pro, we just need to screenshot the selected rectangle. After that, we need to go back to Dev3D Quick Plot to insert background image that we already screenshot. Click on the quick view to generate the background image. In this last part, we want to put this grid image on top of the background image. As we can see here, the coordinate of both image didn't match up. So we need to set the coordinate for the background image by click on the set file dependent feature option. Here, we need to insert minimum X and minimum Y coordinate according to the grid. For width column, we need to subtract highest with lowest X coordinate, which is 5. And also the same for height. Now, let's look again at the coordinate of background image. As you can see, the background image now has the same coordinate with the grid image. Finally, we need to add grid to the plot by choosing grid file and then click add to plot. We can see the final result of background map from Google Earth Pro, top with grid from the dashboard.